Hello and welcome back to the land of the Rust. So, we're going to ask ourselves the same question we ask ourselves every episode, which is... You're right, it's who are we going to war with? So, let's pick somebody, see if we have a truce with them, and then go to war. Right, uh, first of all, actually, I want to check what Russia is. Okay, so Russia is up into this little bit here. What's it called? Uh, the Ladoga Sea, or the Onega Sea. Like, that. that is it. Or, oh, it's the Svir River? Yeah, so that is where Russia is up to. And it heads all the way up here. I just want to double check. Does it? Oh, it's probably heads, yeah, so it's heads all the way up here past this lake as well. Which, apparently, we don't have a name for and it's just called Lake. Okay, cool. So, it actually splits that place in half. Okay, interesting. Right, um, so, Chudia. You have a bunch of alloys. You don't, alloys? Allies. You don't seem like the best one. You? You're allied to Chudia, which I don't really care about. Chudia have 1.2, so together we're at 3, so we'd easily crush him. So do I have a war against you that makes sense? Because that's also going to take away an ally from Chudia, which seems good. No. Your armies are raised. Are they? God, you're right, they are raised. Oh, we'll disband those. Um, yeah, let me just see. I'm, I'm not actually going to... Am I joining this war in Upper Silesia? I don't really feel like I am. Yeah, let's disband our troops. Okay, you know what? We're gonna wait two months and then we're uh, we're ready to go. With certainty. Oh yes, I learned something about children educations. Now, this is interesting because I learned this on Twitter from somebody who's played the game for a lot longer as and they had it in pre-release, but they only just worked it out, which makes it me kinda have some kind of background for not knowing it existed. So you know your children had education focuses in the first uh, in Crusader Kings 2. Well, they they have them in 3. It's just this tiny little button right here is your focus. I know it doesn't look great. Um but I just it was just reminded because we have this. I took Frothy out playing with a bow and to my surprise he ran into a wounded doe. He had not hesitated in the slightest to bring it down. So we can say greatness awaits you, in which case he becomes ambitious. Um, someone always suffers, and then he can become sadistic. Oh, interesting. Or, that was a test I hope you do better next time. Just make him paranoid. Kid, we don't want to mess up the kid. You can be ambitious, although he is, like, my second son. So maybe you don't want him to be ambitious, but I don't want to be sadistic. Let's just say greatness awaits you. Now, um, he doesn't really want... Uh, we don't really want an intrigue education. That's not really what I want him to have. Are we his educator? Um, where would I even see who is educator? I guess he doesn't have one. Uh, who is his guardian? Oh, I guess he's he. We are his guardian. Okay, cool. It would be nice if it. Oh yeah, son and ward. There we go. I was gonna say nice if it told you, but it does. Uh, I think I'm gonna give him a martial one. So is this what he's good at and what he isn't good at? I guess it's just purely based on stats then, or maybe it's his childhood traits give something into it. So I guess rowdy leads into this. Okay, I'm going to give him a martial education. It could just be stat-wise, though. Anyway, we'll choose that. If it's the same as the first game, it's just stat-wise. Uh, we have a child in who is currently uh, imprisoned. Can we do something to help that? Nope, we can't ransom. Because he will not accept. Oh, who currently has him imprisoned? This jailer? Can I be like, give him back? Can't declare a war because it'll break a truce? Yeah, and we'll still get truce breaker. We do have shorter truces now, though, which is cool. At least I think we do. Unless that was the other one. Yes, we have shorter truces. Right. So, uh, you're too old to need an education. Let's just go through the rest of them. So there's Throthy. There's our daughter, who has an intrigue education as well. Uh, it's okay for her, I think. Then we have Bjorn, my son, who does not have any education because he is too young. Alright, perfect. Get rid of that victory. Um, one of your council positions is missing someone. We need a new chancellor. Okay, well, uh, I think that this guy seems pretty good. Yeah, what's he gonna do? Uh, integrate titles. So you can make the title does your part of your primary title. Ooh, I wonder how long that takes. So I can do that in tons of little titles along here. Uh, it's not does your drifting towards us. Hmm, okay, interesting. Yeah, I don't really want to do that, but that is an interesting thing that you can do. Um, I think we'll just leave you on foreign affairs. That's fine. Possibly it can shorten truces. Right. Uh, is our army back? Yeah. 
Seems like they're back. I think I'm just ready to declare war. You got the same allies. You are in two wars. You're defending against someone's conquest of something, but you're a secondary, right? Oh, you're a main person in that one. Interesting. And you're also, uh, you are attacking someone. Oh, okay. Well, here's the thing. Uh, I'm declaring for your duchy. Cool. All of that will be mine. So, so, wait, are these... No, so these are all in there. I just want to double check, because it's got more red parts here. Yeah, so that's going to be separate. Or we can subjugate them. We don't have enough prestige. I would like to subjugate, but I think we could conquer Duchy and be happy. Yeah, let's conquer Duchy and be happy. Right. Raise our troops up. Raise all armies. Uh, we're then going to wait just like a small amount of time. Slow the game down to speed 4 and walk our way over. And of course now we have music because we were in serious game mode. Right, to get rid of all these pop-up windows. Uh, I'd love to take out those knights if possible. Oh, that's impassable terrain, I see. I was like, what's going on there? You know one's dead for dedication to your faith? Fantastic. Enemy ally joined war. So we got Kazan joined as well? Wait a second. Kazan being these guys? Does 1.5? That's a problem. Wait, they're allied? I guess that alliance just came in as I declared the war. That's crazy. Alright, well, whatever. I'm gonna walk to the war goal and start taking it, and then hopefully we'll just be fine. That is the... yeah, that is the one. It was just hidden under the flag. I was like, I can't see the building. There must be a better way of telling what the main bit is, but... My main way is just looking for that flag. I'm gonna let it speed up and go through. Because they're in a bunch of wars, also if we don't interact with them and they're in a bunch of wars, eventually they're gonna lose troops, which is hopefully gonna work for us. Social manipulation. The first time it happened, I barely gave a moment's thought, but my vassal chieftain Boris has grown bolder. His challengers no longer pass unnoticed among my vassals. He's tested my limits. There are others sure to follow unless I give him a taste of his own medicine. So I can mock his bothersome nature. Okay. Um. I can forget to invite him and leave him in the dark. All problems will be blamed on him, or how dare you challenge your king. Hmm, what are we going to do? Uh, so this one. If we manipulate him, we get a hook and they get a pinion. Okay, if he outwits us, we lose prestige. I don't really want to do this. I don't really want to gain stress either, but... I think I'm going to gain stress, because I don't really want to lose prestige right now. I think I'm happy not losing prestige. Where's their troops? Uh, their troops are... Yeah, somewhere else. Alright, well, I mean, I guess I'll take all your land while we wait. Who's that? That's Chudia. Okay. Let's slow it down. They're, are they coming over to the war goal? Or are they just chilling? They appear to just be chilling. Okay. Spouse, acting on my behalf. My wife spends a significant amount of time traveling the realm with her honor guard. There are many matters she can settle on my behalf, and the military presence Queen Sif brings with her um, is a firm reminder of my right to rule. So I gain prestige or dread. Oh, I'd love prestige, please. Thank you. Right, wait another month. Or, oh, unpausing. I was like, why is it not moving very quickly? I'll speed the game up. Still leaving it paused. Okay. So they're heading around here with 4,000 troops. That seems problematic. However, the AI is really bad at grouping troops together, so... Right, we, want another, we got another one. Um, what's actually the war goal? It's all of this. I could walk further in. I think I'd prefer to just walk over and beat you up, though. We have a son, Frederick. That's a good name. I can pronounce that one. Right. Um, so we'll probably lose. We don't want to do that. Hmm. Supply is running low. I think we want to head back to our territory. Oh, is that we can only head back through that crossing? Yeah, okay, take a step back. Yeah, we want to head back to Yaroslav. Hmm, are they still in their other wars? Otherwise, this is going to be difficult. They are only in this war. Okay, That's, that is difficult then. Because they've won their other wars. So, we should be supplying up, right? No, okay, uh, so split army in half. Send one of them there. Okay, to avoid us getting the supply limit thing. So we are now resupplying in friendly territory, so head up, head up. Oh, 
hopefully this will be fine. We should move it at roughly the same time. So we want to resupply up. Hmm. Yeah, I'm quite happy to just let them run out of supplies, I think. That might work. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep chilling. So anything I can do to make my uh, champions better? Do I have any available? We have a 17. I'll recruit them. That's fine. We have the money. And we have a 15. I'll recruit them. Cool. Just to get slightly better uh, knights available for us. Okay. Are we resupplied yet? Not quite. But we're better. Mental break. Too busy. Um, by the norms, petitions from the realm have been queuing up lately. The work feels endless. Um, so I can say the last one that I want to be alone where we can become reclusive. Drink. We can go on a drinking binge. Or I'm the king. I can do this. We can do this. We're the king. Mental break. Oh, we reached level f 2 immediately. Um, well, of late, my courtiers seem to avoid me at all costs. I hear whispers that my bravery is mistaken for bloodlust. But that just means I rule with a firm hand. It doesn't mean I'm a monster. I guess I could go on a drinking binge. Lose prestige. Moderate health penalty. Or I don't want to see them either. Become reclusive. It does give us 20% stress loss, which is nice. Hmm. No, I'll be reclusive. Fine. I should have taken reclusive before if I'm going to take reclusive now, but that's fine. Ransom? Um, sure. Wait, who is this? This is my daughter. Yeah, we'll have my daughter back. That's fine. Um, I also need a council position, and um, I just realized this child here is now old enough to choose in education. So they're now doing martial. Okay, who's their educator? The guardian is me. Uh, okay, but what if it wasn't me? What if instead it was? Okay, me's fine. That's fine. Uh, we're missing a steward. Let's see here. You're the best steward, but because uh, you already got a job, we'll give you the second best one. Right? Go collect taxes. That's okay. So we now have supply. So if I merge up, we're going to be over a supply limit. Merge up and attack, maybe? So if I was to merge up, right? And attack here. We would win because we have more soldiers. Um, we would be defending because we have the sea. Okay, we'd be defending. I think I'm going to attack. Yeah, let's try this. It still thinks that we'll win even with the others joining in here. Interesting. And we're defending in a river crossing as well. An opponent's supply is running low. Interesting. So now we're in here. We have thir we have 3,200. They're they don't have as much quality right now. Okay. This is fine. Um, we're being countered so that our guys aren't dealing a lot of damage. It's probably because they have bowmen. Uh, they have bowmen. Sorry, we have bowmen. They have horsemen. Right. That's fine. So we're still winning against them. Then we lose here. Okay. So we were actually going to lose that one. Okay. Can I retreat? Yeah. Just get out of there. Interesting. So it told me we we're going to win anyway, but I guess it's bad at working it out or not necessarily. It, it can't work out if somebody's joining in mid fight what, what exactly is going to happen. It did say probably going to win, to be fair. It didn't say definitely. Hmm. The little gourmand. Throthy seems to be having a difficult t uh, time at our latest feast. He buried his head in his food. And the only talk he did uh, was asking for serving after serving. So I can say food is a joy. He is a trait gluttonous. Okay. Or if it was a chore, then you simply should have left. Or um, is a duty uh, to be seen whether you want to or not. All of these are bad traits. I guess I'll let him be gluttonous then. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, what else could I do? I could get mercenaries, I suppose. They might help us. Uh, mercenaries. Not available, not available. Oh, these guys are available. 700 troops for 180 gold. Yeah, we'll hire them. And mercenaries, uh, you pay the cost up front now. So we're, we're quite ready to just get these raiders as well. Yeah. Um, merge armies. Split in half. Select one. We're going to send you like this way and then over here. And the other army, if it'll let me select it. I'm just going to send straight over here. So they should be taking slightly... Yeah, so they're ta this one's taking a very odd path round, which should help us. Yeah. Uh, we're at zero gold, but that's fine. Even if we go negative, our mercenaries will stay. Scheme at court. 
Somebody's plotting against my uh, concubine. Oh no. We must expose the villain behind this. Yes, exactly. What I was thinking. Uh, head in here. So we'll start sieging. Head up. So if we attack in, they're going to get the defending bonus. Maybe. How's our siege looking? 12 months left? If I just let that go... Hmm, by right, my vassals uh, inform me of an obscure law in the chieftain of Valdi uh, that states that none but the king may be its protector. Okay, so I can say the king is full right, so I get the unpressed claim, or he can keep the title by my grace. Uh, no, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get the claim. We're not happy about it, but we'll get the claim. Is there a better place to stand for a supply limit? Not really. Hmm, guess we're just going to lose supply slightly here. Are they coming for us or what are they doing? They're merging up. The sacking of Talra. With the fall of the settlement of Valmeria to High Chieftain Kodri, much of Greater Talvia has been left bare to rampaging uh, Corlander looters. As there are few fortresses of Scythes left to oppose them, the raiders have carried off every precious item and strap of silver they can find. So I can curse those meddlesome sav uh, savages or pay a wergold for the lost. We don't have money, so curse the savages. Are you coming for me, or what's happening here? I think that they're just letting me siege this. Seems like an odd decision on their part, but, you know. Whatever. They've let me siege it. And we captured a valuable hostage. That all seems really good to me. Hey, why don't you head through here, and then you can just drop in behind. We'll siege this down. Seems like a very odd thing. I can call my allies into this war as well. Victory? Whoa, 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 whoa. Are we being attacked? Not quite. Hey, take a step back here. Uh, to the Serene King Rurik, I've been corresponding with your chancellor, I must say. Uh, I've come to see you in a new light, perhaps. Uh, you are even someone I can be proud to call my friend someday. Oh, well done. Okay, uh, ransom. Yes, I'll pay. Oh, I don't really want to pay all my money. I'm just going to leave that there for just now. New lifestyle perk. Defensive negotiations. Can repose an alliance without a marriage. Can use the Ducal Conquest CB. See whether there's anything that's immediately useful. Befriend scheme. Children receive extra skill points. Uh, Do we need any of this actually? Forced vassalization. Cass's belly sounds interesting. Alliances gain you. Diplomacy also sounds cool. Prestige per powerful vassal. Prestige per night, offer vassalization acceptance goes up. Hmm, so this is all prestige. Just trying to see if there's anything that we specifically want right now. I think we actually, we don't really want any of this. I think I'll take this one. Yeah, unlock that. And then I think it's time for us to switch. Could we go back here and try and get strategist and finish that off? Yeah, it might be time to go get strategist and finish it off. Um... And I'll get some extra control here. And that will help us with all the new land that we're getting. Cool. Right, two sieges down. They've lost a bunch of troops, which is good. Uh, head up here. You're now going to just go sit behind them here somewhere. Like there. We are about to hit no supply, I believe. Which isn't good. Right, they're coming to fight. Let's merge up. Um, we need to fight before we run out of troops. Yeah, head straight in here. We caught him. 5,000 versus 1,000. This should be nice and simple for us. And this guy is running away, so can't join in. They're going to join in this battle as these troops are dead, which is going to just cause them to get slaughtered. And they're, they're going to do the same. So this is an absolute slaughter. Yeah, and you're locked into attacking us. Oh, no. So you, we get a brand new battle and you still get crushed. That is horrible. Like you could not make a worse bit, like a worse way to handle that situation. All right, let's head up here. I know that we are below our supply limit. In fact, we're gonna be in real trouble here. After my army set up camp, I hear a commotion coming from my champion's lodgings, investigating the discur disturbance. I find Helgi and Chieftain uh, Vargilimp in the middle of a heated argument while several onlookers edge them on. Uh, saw this, I'm going to my tent and having a drink. I love that. Have them whipped for the delinquency. 
or deliver a speech to the crowd. Um, I don't want them to continue. I could just have them whipped right away. You know what? Sod this. I'm off for a drink. Lowers our stress. Makes things better. I assume that one's there because I'm a drunkard, but we'll see. Right, I think once I get this siege done, we'll be good either way. Let's speed it up. I know we have absolutely no supply, but that's okay. You've been burdened with your oppressive laws. Sawed off. It's a peasant's uh, rabble. 100% war score. Enforce demands. So it wasn't quite who we were expecting to fight originally, but that's fine. Where's this peasant's rabble and what do they think they're doing in my capital? Right. That's fine. Oh, we actually have multiple peasant's rabbles. Uh, split in half. So one of you is going there and the other one is now going to go ahead up here to deal with the other peasant's rabble. Okay, cool. Then this entire bit of land can go away to somebody else, like um, none of my prisoners, although I should go and get ransoms for all of them. Uh, it should go to one of my champions, like this guy right here. Yeah, grant titles. Show only recent titles. There you go. All of that's yours. Enjoy. We'll see what he thinks. He, he probably loves us, so that's good. We do have a little bit of death happening here. It's not good. A faction targeting you is disbanded. Oh, the Bargium Sumaminsko populists. Okay. That's good. Um, I want you to head down here. You to head over here now. Go. A noble guest has arrived. Unfortunate tragedy. Pritch by Spiefs, the spouse of my son, and heir Helgi has passed away. All those carefully crafted plans have been crushed by Hel's fickle impulse, though such complaints may be seen as petty and insubstantial compared to her family's pain. Okay, so my heir is unmarried. I'm above my domain limit, am I? Really? I still have one more? Hmm. I thought my domain limit was six, but maybe it's lower right now. Do I want to pay 35 gold? Uh, not this exact second, but I'll be back soon to accept your offer. Uh, we have a ton of things that we can do right now. Prisoners can be ransom. Uh, this one can be ransom. Sure, I'll get 50 gold. Uh, cool. Nice. We have now got 50 gold, so we can now pay these ransoms better. I'm sitting around the map table with Chieftain Tlur and Chieftain uh, Ulitis discussing our strategy for the ongoing war. Cure bangs his fist on the table and loudly proclaims, We should charge the enemy directly and crush them with sheer might of our armies. Well, Ulteris nervously mutters about how we should avoid unnecessary engagements and fight a war of attrition. It is my right to decide our ultimate course of actions. Hey, because of our high martial skill, I can just say, let's do both. So we get enemy fatal casualties and attacker advantage, and retreat losses fatal um, casualty, friendly fatal casualties and attacker advantage minus here. Cool. Let's uh, do all of that. That looks good. Ooh, a new martial perk. Nice. So, in terms of martial perk, um, it's none of those. Okay, down here. Uh, I want strategist. Yep. Because that finishes that tree and gets me a new trait. The new trait gives us martial and diplomacy. Seems great. And now we can maybe start working along this way as well. To get some of these extra bonuses, like increased control and county progress gain and all that sort of stuff. Um, cool. Let's head in here and have a look at our council. So, uh, that's the wrong one. Here, council. Let's so check. So you're currently just organizing our levy to just increase uh, the reinforcement rate, which is fairly good. Yeah, but kind of unnecessary. So... Let's just choose somewhere and get you to do something about it. So why are these pink? I'm not entirely sure why they're pink. I, I kind of get the, this color. Does that... Oh, that, that probably means that like they're extremely not controlled. That'd be my guess. Yeah, okay. So you're in Yaroslav. It's going to take six years to get it back to full, but that's okay. And what's this one? Promote our culture. Okay. Wait, we don't... Our culture doesn't even extend to our capital one right now? Wait, what's our capital one? It's Russian. Oh. Do we want it to be Norse or do we want it to be Russian? I guess it doesn't matter. I, I guess I want it to be Norse. I don't, I don't really care one way or the other, actually. I guess I'll just leave it. It does affect our control, but, you know. Oh, yeah. Notable guests arrived. This guy. You have a claim on what? Uh, okay, I'm just going to zoom out and see what's flashing. Is this flashing? That's flashing. Okay. 
So you have a claim on that, and then you have a claim on that. Okay. So you have some claims on Sweden. I'm not that worried about it. Uh, we should find an heir for... We should ha find a wife for our heir, but that's okay. 100%. Force demands. Nice. Uh, then I'm going to disband my armies to so disband them. Uh, can't disband them. While oh, there are hostile enemies around. Oh, go get them. Yeah. Solitude in the Great Hall. Throthy seems to be having a difficult time at our latest feast. He slipped underneath one of the tables and hid there from people for the entire meal. So you can have him be shy, impatient, or focus on the food. Gluttonous. Is he not already gluttonous? Make him super gluttonous. Yeah, I guess I'm going to make you gluttonous and then we're going to become more stressed from it. Thinking that that's the right move. Um, right, disband. Cool. Um, Military-wise, we have 4,000, which is pretty sweet. We should probably upgrade some of these. Oh, these are mercenaries that we still have available. Oh, so we can re-raise the mercenaries if we want to. Oh, that's neat. Uh, I would kind of just want to ditch them, but I guess it stops them being hired by someone else, which is neat. Cool. Um, contract expiring, contract expiring. That's bo They're both okay. Nothing bad happens from exp expiration anymore. Um, age? Probably? I don't know, maybe some of all skills? No, nah, I guess I kind of just want age and then let's see if you have a genetic trait. Uh, where is it? Traits? There we go. Inheritable. And see if we have anybody. 16 year old who's pretty? Sure. You can marry her. Seems good to me. Right. Can't spend too long looking. We got lots and lots of things to do. Uh, children lack guardians. So Sig be uh, Sig Sigbjorn, he needs something here. So he's got a martial education. He can be guardianed by us. Right. Bjorn. You uh, are going to have a stewardship education. Are we happy with that? Uh, sure, we're happy with that. He's sadistic. Hmm. So stewardship, um... I don't know. I guess I'm happy with Helgi being your educator. Or Talviki could be your educator, that's fine. We don't want to convert culture or faith. But that's gonna work for us. And then, uh, where's the last one? There we go, Talviki. Um, well, obviously, your educator, no matter who who it is, should be Talviki. It should be uh, your mother. Seems like a good idea. Yeah, and then you're also having a stewardship education, which is fine. Yeah, that works for me. Uh, we can usurp a bunch of stuff. We can create more duchies. I'm not really worried about any of that. We have low control in counties. Cool. Out there. And we got a little bit more of Russia. Well, I think that's a good point to end the episode. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.